How should I pray? 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 17 says, pray without ceasing. When you are learning to pray, it is important to understand who God really is. Most of us have developed our concepts of God based off of our parents, especially our earthly fathers. The way we think about our fathers, whether good or bad, is often the same way we think about God. We must come to an important place in our spiritual lives that will set us free to grow in God and develop true faith and intimacy with Him. We must learn to disassociate our parents' failures and flaws from who God is. Regardless of what your earthly parents are or were like, you can rejoice that your perfect Father has adopted you. He rejoices over you, sings songs over you, and blesses you. He wants to care for you every day as His child. He loves you. And it's not based off of performance. Many of the Jewish leaders of Jesus' day were prideful, so they prayed long religious prayers to make themselves look very holy in the eyes of people. However, Jesus says we should pray privately and without a lot of fancy words. Find a quiet spot where you won't be disturbed. It could be your room with a door closed, a solitary place in the woods, which I love, your car, or even a closet. It may take some trial and error, to find a place where you feel comfortable. The point is to get alone with God and put your focus on Him. Once you are in your quiet spot, think, praise, and worship Him. Ask the Holy Spirit to be with you while you spend time with Him. God dwells in our praises, and when we worship Him, He is faithful to be present. Praise and worship will also get your mind off of yourself and your problems and onto the one who can help you do something about them. Prayer is talking with God as if he is sitting right next to you. He wants to be your best friend, trusted confidant, because he cares so much about you. If you have trouble expressing your feelings, as I did, or knowing what to say to God, read the book of Psalms. Psalms is an entire book of prayers, and it will give you some ideas. Some people find it helpful to write their prayers in a notebook or journal. Talk to God about what is happening in your life. Things that make you sad or angry, concerning questions, and any doubts you have. He is listening, and He has great love for you. Now that we've talked about how you should pray, here are some questions to consider. Question one. According to 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 17, how often should we pray? Question two, read Psalms chapter 27, verse 10. Will God ever abandon you? And how does it make you feel to know this truth? Question three, how does David express his problems in Psalms chapter 142, verses 1 through 2?